Mr. Sherlock Holmes, I presume? Correct. With whom do I have the pleasure? Emilio Estero. Happy to make your acquaintance. I am here on behalf of Mycroft, your brother. He is on his way to Gordona. In the meantime, he requests your assistance with a sensitive matter. My orders are to provide you with the details. You have my attention, Mr. Estevo. Mark Ridley, the son of General Arthur Ridley, is being blackmailed. Suffice to say, the compromising material is of a delicate nature. The matter is of no small importance to the Crown, especially given the status quo on Cordona. What about the status quo? The Ottoman population holds a certain animosity towards the colonial rule. It's been this way since we took over the island. General Ridley made concessions with their leaders, but I'm afraid we are still teetering on the edge of open hostility. What does Mycroft want me to do? Retrieve the blackmail material? No, sir, nothing of the sort. Mark Ridley is meeting the blackmailer atop the old city bridge tower. You shall observe from a distance, then establish the blackmailer's identity. Do not attempt to arrest him. We'll handle it from there. Saving the best for yourself? Fine. There is a cafe just over the bridge that provides a good vantage point. Please report to me when you are done. I'll be waiting for you here, and remember, discretion is of the essence. A fresh newspaper? I wish you a pleasant reading. Here, grab a seat. You even brought a book, huh? Uh, may I have...? Same as always. You just don't give up, do you? Oh, come on, let's get closer. We can't see anything from here. No, too early. So we're just going to sit here all day? Patience, John. I have a feeling this is more than simple blackmail. We'll be close when the blackmailer leaves, and then... Go! Oh, 
Not a pretty sight, this. What's happened? What happened? Oh, who is it? Head trauma. Fatal. Gravity is cruel like that. Who? Who's it? A rather frivolous accessory for a military man. Shame it's all bloody now. Oh. Oh. He was stabbed several times before he fell. The shape of the wounds suggest a curved blade. What's happened? What happened? Oh, who is it? The knife is missing. Oh, my goodness. Who? Who is it? It's almost like he's dancing. Dancing the dance macabre. A key, and where there's a key, there's a lock. No signs of life, no pulse. I'm declaring Corporal Ridley dead. Oh. 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 Please move along. The police are on their way. Everything's uh, under control. Is it now? The General's own son has fallen out of the tower, and not without help, it seems. I need to inspect the scene, and quickly. The Corporal? He ordered me not to let anyone inside without telling him. But now... Wait, are you saying it's a murder? A brief examination of the body was enough for me to conclude that he was murdered by a blade of Ottoman origin. He can't possibly be so certain. Oh, I can be. The corporal suffered deep stab wounds which were inflicted with great force. They were made by a knife meant for cutting, not stabbing. A curved blade, such as an Ottoman Jambir or a Gurkha Kukri. I haven't seen any Gurkhas on the island, so the conclusion is quite obvious. Amazing. You do seem more than competent. All right, go in. I'll wait here for the police. Did you see anything suspicious? No, sir, nothing. Corporal Ridley had to attend to some private matters upstairs. No one went in, no one came out. Oh, but that means the killer is still inside. Are you sure you want to go in alone? I'm not alone. I have my friend with me. Your friend? You mean, your gun? There's no one at- Never mind, I'll be fine. The killer's gone, vanished into thin air. Smell the body odor, John. Someone's been hiding in here. Someone sweaty. Unless it's a laundry chest. But then it's a different mystery altogether. The case of the vanishing sweaty pantaloons. Exactly 100 man gears. The killer didn't touch them. This blade is a naval officer's dirk. Sharp and well cared for. The edge is covered with blood, but the tip is clean. This cigarette is still smouldering.
Ridley was attacked by his blackmailer, but before being pushed out the window, Ridley managed to wound him. The killer must still be bleeding. Let's take the rope down. I'd rather take the stairs. Ah, what a bore. So what happened? Was there anyone upstairs? No, the killer escaped. We're dealing with a carefully planned assassination. What can you tell me about the deceased? We were from the same unit, stationed together at the barracks by the bridge, but I can't say I knew him well. Maybe someone at the barracks could tell you more. Do you know if the corporal had any enemies? Someone who would want him dead? No. Uh... None that I know of. But then again, there's always the Ottomans. They'd want all of us soldiers dead, I reckon. Wow. Amazing, right? Disturbing is more like it. Aha! Uh -huh. A curved knife covered in fresh blood. There we go. Hmm. I doubt that this eagle is purely ornamental. Careful, Sherry. Locals aren't too happy with what you're doing. I'd better leave the knife here. Don't. Now is a bad no. time to ruffle my feathers. Go away from it! Go away! How many knives what? do you think are stuck here? I keep losing count.
sacred. Who do you think you are? Leave it. Don't touch. You aren't here to relieve me from duty, are you? Ridley's blood is on Ottoman hands. I just know it. Ridley's blood is on Ottoman hands. I just know it. Excuse me, just one question. Ah, I know this, yeah. Let me help you. Nice. A room after my own heart. A little austere for my taste. There are scratches on the floor. The locker was moved. Two tickets to London would have been a very different ending for the corporal's story. That's quite a hefty sum. Enough to start a new life. Ridley's blood is on Ottoman hands. I just know.